But wait a minute, have you ever wondered to yourself how LEDs in the circuit does their blinking or how an oscillator works and say to yourself, how is this possible? What is causing this to happen? Well, that is what I'm going to be sharing with you in this video, known as the ROC oscillator. We are going to see how this works. So stay with me for the rest of this video and don't even try to skip this video because there are important things I'm going to be sharing with you in this video and you will not want to miss that. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and let's get started. This is a corporator which has two inputs and one output. Let's understand it in a brief way. But I have already made a video on that already. Check below the description box to learn how to use them. The negative sign is known as the inverting input and the positive sign is called the non-inverting input. So how this works is if the voltage at the inverting input is greater than that of the non-inverting input, even a little slight difference of the voltage, the corporator is going to compare these two voltages and output low. But if the non-inverting voltage is greater than that of the inverting input, the corporator is going to output high. The circuit diagram you're seeing is known as the ROC oscillator. Why is it called the ROC oscillator? It's because of the two components at its inverting input, the resistor and the capacitor. The capacitor gets charged through the resistor depending on what value of resistor. The value of the resistor determines how fast or slow your capacitor is going to charge itself up. How this circuit works is that since we have the ROC network at the inverting input and at the non-inverting input, we have a voltage divider and a positive feedback resistor. This voltage divider acts as a reference voltage. What that means is that we have given the non-inverting input a fixed voltage and that's done with two identical resistors to give half of VCC. So that voltage will be 4.5 volts. But since we have a feedback resistor, that voltage will move slightly from that, let's say 5 volts. So right now, the output will remain high because the reference voltage is greater than that of the inverting input. But since the output fits the resistor and the capacitor, this will charge up the capacitor to the positive supply voltage VCC 9V. Now because this has happened, the voltage now at the inverting input is now greater than what we have at the non-inverting input. So the corporator will compare these voltages and go low until the capacitor discharges itself. Once the voltage at the inverting input is now less than the non-inverting input, the corporator is going to triple high again and this is how the cycle repeats itself over and over until the power supply is being disconnected from the circuit. I have done some nice projects using the ROC network with a 5-5 timer including the voltage dividers. Recommended videos, links are left below the description box. Do check that out. So let's turn over to the real world and do something. So I placed an LM358 op amp on my breadboard and connected its supply voltage pins with a jumper wires and formed a voltage divider at the non-inverting input of the LM358 and added a positive feedback resistor from its output to its input and set my ROC circuit between the inverting input and also placed a current limiting resistor for our LED at the output and after done this, the circuit is completed and power up my circuit for testing and it worked great. This type of oscillator is called fixed ROC oscillator because the charging resistor can't be varied because it has a fixed value except I replace it with another value let's say 1k and you see how fast my LED responds the time constant can be found using the simple formula and its frequency can be determined using this formula this schematic shows a variable resistor in line with the capacitor so it's called a variable RC oscillator because its frequency and time constant can be varied. The blue line shows our output actions, while the green line shows the ROC charging up and discharging. And you can see it changes as I vary the resistor value, then you can see it changes in magnitude, but the shape still remains the same. The dropping of the green lines shows when our capacitor discharges its stored current, and the blue line rising up with respect to that. Whenever our green line charges up, the blue line, which is our output, drops to ground volt zero. 
Okay, enough of the animation and talking. Let's do this physically. Watch how our LED responds according to how the variable resistor is being varied. Okay, that's all for today's video. I hope this video helped you well to a better understanding of RC oscillator. Don't forget to check our recommended videos. Don't also forget to comment about this video, for this will help me to improve in my videos according to your understanding of this video.